a lot of pedodontists here in the city that uh, would like to see their ch children as soon as the teeth erupt. When I say erupt, when they come in. So as soon as the teeth come in, you know, you start brushing them as you would your adult teeth and you would start taking your children to the dentist every six months as if your parents would. Okay, does your diet affect your teeth? Yes, it does. And how your diet affects your teeth is, again, the sugar intake. If we consume too much sugar, um, our saliva has, um, the, the saliva in our mouth is a mineral. And the minerals are like calcium and phosphate, and it neutralizes all the acidity that we take in during a daily day basis. So just think if we're eating a normal um, dinner or lunch. The saliva is working, but in, when we stop eating and then we'll take in a piece of candy, but we don't just eat one or two pieces of candy and we're just constantly eating that candy, mm -hmm. it doesn't give the saliva a chance to break down that acidic level so that allows again for the tooth, the, soft, the strong portions of the teeth to be weakened by the acid to produce cavities. So when, when I say, when you ask me a question as um, the, the diet affects um, you know, their teeth, it does. So if you're consisting of um, meals that's consisting of more caloric and sugars and not your proper vegetables and um, your fruits and vegetables and your milk and you're taking in a lot of sugar, it will affect you. If you say real talk, I probably won't trust you. If you want to go to war, the gun is my pleasure. Even Jesus said, well, the fight is on the level, trigger, whatever. You don't, you don't want that nigga three times. I'm like, you're a you're a to this part. You white to eat, well, the meat looks like a nice guy. Make your mama proud, make that thing two times a time. Then you look like the man that you are, or what you still be. I can give it to my car, but then I will be. If it was considered a classic, but both the classic change in production, my car will meddle with seven classic values.
Showcase. Well, Mecca, thank you, first of all, for uh, interviewing me about an exciting project that I've been doing. This is my third year doing it. Um, I had an opportunity to visit a black history program at the Teen Center, and I saw all these young people putting in all this talent during this black history event. I said, you know what? I'm, we should take this talent and put it in a showcase and show other people about all the talent that we have with our young people from ages 13 to 17. So that's how the Mayor's Showcase of Talent came about. Now the first year we did it, we had about 19 acts and they really went fast. And then last year we had a, a good showing, but this year I've had an opportunity to have one of my, one of the young ladies has been in it ever since the first a mayor showcase the talent. So this, this will be her third year and she's going to graduate from Stivers. It's going to be at the, uh, one of the things that we do with this is that we give an opportunity for, they do auditions. So when they actually come to the showcase, those are all winners. This is like a, a show because they've all won at that point. And after they win, they have tips are given to them to help them polish their acts so that they are semi-professional. We have a lot of talent in our city that the adults have offered to polish them up. We even have um, Keith Harrison, who used to play with Fazo and uh, also with The Time. And he been one of the critics to help with the music. They're singing, they're, they're singing, there's dancing, there's rap, there's poetry. I uh, understand we might even have a violinist this year uh, that play. And one year we had uh, the two brothers do a uh, simultaneous piano piece. So the talent goes all over the place. Uh, some of them will sing gospel music. There might be some uh, dancing. So I, I'm just so excited about this because this is an opportunity for our young people to show off their talent. 